if we want to convert a wide sort of table of the kind that we talked about earlier into tidy data, we can do that with one of the functions that's in the tidy R package, a function called pivot underscore longer. The process that we are going to carry out with this function is summarized quite well in this diagram, which I borrowed from a data carpentry lesson. Our job essentially is to take these column headers here and collapse them together into a column, which I'm going to call the key column here. And so you can see that each of the column headers uh, forms a block of rows in that key column. And then the values that go along with each one of the cells that um, result from a combination of a column and a row gets put into the what we call could call the value column and then the rows simply get repeated over and over again here so if the rows are one two three then we do one two three one two three one two three so what we are doing is generating combinations of uh, these two uh, grouping variables and then the corresponding value that's at the intersection of the row and the column uh, is placed in the value column in the line that contains the, the two values for the row and the column in that same row. So the format of the statement for pivot longer is like this. The first thing that you do is put the name of the uh, tipple that you are drawing the data from. And then you have to list the columns in the form of a vector. So in this particular case, we would list these three columns uh, here. And then the next argument of the function is to define what's called the names to column, which is uh, the column, the new column that we're going to create that contains the names. And then the values to argument is the one where we uh, specify the name of the column that we're going to create that's going to hold the values, which would be this column right here.